Um, final question, we were excited to see your county safe housing task force. Sure. Uh, because housing is one of the issues in, in uh, Johnson City. So could you talk about your goals and expected outcomes for that task force? Well, I think that um, it's interesting that you brought that up because we, uh, our, health, our health department gave me a tour of some of the apartments and that they that they work in. We have a uh, safe neighborhoods uh, team that goes out and um, helps people that are, are living in apartments. tries tries to help people get um, lead taken out of their homes and and really just uh, you know hands out uh, cleaning supplies and, and things like that 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 people don't have. And, and so they said, you really need to come and see what housing is like in the areas that we work in. So I took a tour and it, it was pretty, pretty shocking. I mean, I know we, you know, we've heard about how certain neighborhoods have been run down, but when you actually go inside the apartments and you you meet the residents, it's it's a pretty big eye opener. And it, it opened up my eyes that you know, we need to do something about um, these neighborhoods. The Broome County Department of Social Services invests about $12 million a year in affordable housing, and we want to make sure that anybody who's, um, you know, going into affordable housing is going into safe and healthy affordable housing, not the some of the places that I uh, went on my tour. So. This is a, the, we announced our Safe Housing Task Force. It's a, um, it's a partnership between Johnson City, the city of Binghamton, uh, many other stakeholders where we, uh, we know what the problems are. We know what the problems are in these, in these neighborhoods. We brought together the stakeholders that actually can make the decisions. And the goal is over the next six months to develop initiatives that will implement to make sure that you know the housing that we're paying for is safe and is healthy, because um, people deserve to live in in safe and healthy housing, and um, much of it is is not. Uh, it, it needs to change. So um, we brought these stakeholders together to develop initiatives that um, will do just that. We'll we'll put people in safe and healthy housing and develop policies and initiatives to. Uh, to, to help improve these neighborhoods and, and make sure that the homes that our most vulnerable residents are living in are, are homes that um, are safe and healthy. Well, thank you. I hope you'll have us back again in six months so we can talk some more about this. Absolutely. Thanks so much for your time.